In this video, I'm going to show you how to display push message that arrived on a mobile device. Because when your mobile application is not running, push message will be uh, delivered and displayed in a notification panel. But if your mobile application is currently running on user's device, it's good to display push message as an alert um, uh, dialog, for example. And in this video, I'm going to show you one of the ways how to display that message. So uh, if we look at the APN's message this table, we will see that the message that is being sent to our mobile device is an JSON um, structure. That JSON uh, document has a apes um, key and it has a JSON object as its value. And it has another key uh, inside of it called alert. And that alert has a value, a string value, a message that user will see and the user will read uh, when, when the message receives, uh, arrives. And if I look at the Xcode, when I print out the message details that arrive, so this is my function did, re did receive remote identification and message details um, are stored in user info object. So when I print out this user info object uh, here in the console, I see that uh, in the structure is exactly the same. I have an APS object and that object has a JSON. I mean, uh, I have APS keys, key, and that key has a value, which is a JSON object. And that object has another key, alert, and the value itself. So let me display this value uh, to user when our application is running. Okay, and um, um, well, first of all, we uh, we can check if uh, user in for object is not empty or if user in for object does indeed uh, contain APS key. So we can do that with a e flat. I'll call it uh, APS equals, and then I'll uh, grab the value of user in for uh, APS. So I'm 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 checking. Basically, I'm saying if user info object uh, APS key contains value, it will be assigned to uh, APS uh, variable here. And uh, we will need to convert its value from JSON to uh, NS dictionary. So I will cast it to NS dictionary like this. And um, then, uh, once I have this object, I will need to extract alert and I will um, create a new variable and I'll call it uh, let alert message equals to and I will refer to my APS and from that APS, from this object APS, I'm going to read alert key. So APS has a JSON object, and that JSON object has an a key which is which has name alert, and that alert contains a value which is a string. So I will um, read it as a string value. Now, is a string value is empty? For example, we can um, we can check for that uh, if because uh, we don't want to display an empty value uh, to the user. So you can. Um, uh, you can uh, add another check here or check for if uh, alert message is equal to nil then return uh, or do the same if let alert message but I'll let's go on with to make it short I will simply go on with uh, my alert um, so I'll create a my alert object which will uh, display this message and that's going to be UI alert uh, controller and that controller has a few parameters. So it has a title, which will be, um, I don't know, let's call it message. And uh, as a message, it will contain alert message. So please make sure this alert message is not now, just check it for uh, an empty string. And then preferred style is going to be UI alert. Hello, UI alert controller style alert. I'm waiting for autocomplete, but it doesn't 
come up for some reason uh, okay so uh, we have an alert we have UI controller alert created do we have an extra yeah uh, and um, now we need to create uh, an action which which is going to be a button so we will create OK action and that's going to be UI alert control UI alert action here and uh, that UI alert action object also contains some um, parameters that we need to supply in its constructor so um, it will have a button I mean the title of that button will be OK. And that's going to be uh, UI alert style. So I will simply hit enter and choose default style. And for the handler, I will I will choose, I will do new. I will not provide anything like this. So we have a button and when that button is top, uh, we don't want to do anything, uh, but we want alert message to be disappeared. And now we can present that alert message to a user by, I mean, now we can add uh, this button to our alert message. And uh, we will present that alert message to a user. Um, but uh, because we are not on a regular, inside of a regular view controller, we're actually inside of the app delegate. So the way we um, access um, view controller from the app delegate is a little bit different. First, we will need to reference the window object. And our window object has a root view controller object. Once we have the root view controller object, we can present our view controller. And here, our view controller that we're going to be presenting is going to be my alert. And for the animated, we will choose um, true. Yes, let, let it be animated. And again, once once alert is presented, we don't want to do anything else uh, for the completion. I will choose new. And basically, this is it. So when the message arrives, again, we will uh, take user info object. From that user info object, we will read apps or APS um, key and that key will hold a JSON object. Uh, this is why when we reference a a APS we convert it to an S dictionary um, not a string for example and that apes APS contains uh, a key and a value and that key is called alert and it contains a string value. That's why we convert it, we cast it to a string. And now we create an alert, which will display this alert message, but um, we, we need to make sure it's not now. So please make sure, check it for an empty string here. And then we create a button, we add button to our alert, and we display alert to a user. I think this is it. So let's uh, run this example, send the push message uh, to this device and see if uh, everything is okay. So I'll stop it, run it again, hope uh, there are no errors. Okay, my application is up and running on device. I see that uh, we got a token registered with our database. And then I'll switch to my database, check for devices. I have two devices here. Both devices are active. Both devices are in sandbox. Everything should be good. Now I need to go to push messages. Um, I'll show you something new here. Um, I could create a new push message and send to that device, or I could kind of re-deliver an old message. For example, uh, the device that I'm going to be sending this push message uh, is this one, the very first one. So it has ID 1. So I will look from the table of my earlier sent push messages, delivered push messages that has a device 1. So these three push messages were delivered to this device. So I'll pick the first one. And uh, that push message has a status delivered. If I want to send that push message again, uh, re-deliver it. I will double click here and I'll simply change its status to queued. So this is the status when push message was initially queued and not delivered. 
Uh, okay, and what I can do now, I can switch to my, um, remember in our um, NetBeans, in our project, we have this file APNs. And that file APNs accepts task as a request parameter. So there are different tasks. One task is create to register a new device and another task uh, name is called fetch. And that fetch will um, basically go through your entire messages table and then it will send out each message that has a status queued. So this is what I'll do. I've changed the task status of my message to queued and I will uh, let me first put a breakpoint here so that we see that the message is indeed sent. So in my um, in my Xcode inside of did receive remote notification, I will put a breakpoint on the first line to see that the message is indeed sent. Uh, and now I go back to my script and I will run APNs file APNs PHP with a parameter question mark task equals fetch. So this and this will instruct APN's file to deliver all messages that are queued and have not been yet delivered. And because I have only one, this one should be delivered. So I'll hit enter to uh, execute this file. And now if I switch to my Xcode, I see that did receive remote notification has an active breakpoint here. If I play it, I see the message, very good. And if I go inside, now I have a dictionary APS. I will print it out here in my console. PO APNs. Yes, it's here. Okay, and now I get an alert message. I will also print it out. Alert message is also here. And I can display, I'll simply play to see an alert message. Very good. I don't, you don't see my device screen, but uh, I do see a message to Canadian customer displayed on my uh, screen with a message title. So this is it. I guess, I hope if you run this script as is on your device, uh, it should work and you should see a message. Okay, so now we know how to display push message that arrived on a device when our application is running. And uh, let's continue.